So that gives you a sense of, uh, of the certificate. You have a copy of this in the green sheet. Um, and back to my PowerPoint. So um, these are some of our students posing uh, you know, in, in the classroom. Uh, we're going to use them for the brochure that we're creating as well. Now, uh, the core, the core course, I want to touch on this. We just launched it this, this past spring semester. We uh, hired an adjunct who had a lot of credibility over four years in work, Carmen Ramirez. He works at the Department of uh, Health. Uh, has been working since the, uh, the, the 60s. Very respected. I was her assistant instructor. I have a lot of experience with, of course, with well learning and uh, community development. So uh, this was the course. Uh, so the course competencies may seem very familiar to you. We, we uh, put it in the Maricopa terms so it can be approved. It was approved by the Allied Health Instructional Council that I became a, a part, part of. Um, and um, that was what we decided houses. And we could not with social work and behavioral health counseling, but we wanted to have Allied Health. Um, course competencies, of course. Uh, very familiar to you, I'm sure. Um, some more of our students. Uh, and in terms of instructional approach, of course, we're in the business of adult education. We are a community college. We are, South Mountain, it's been around for 30 years. We're an inner city community college. We're in a, definitely a very uh, diverse uh, part of Phoenix. Uh, definitely, you know, I'm from Chile, so uh, that influences my, my view of things. Uh, all the phrase popular education. Active, definitely active learning. Uh, the service, there's a service learning component. We have many partnerships now, uh, past and present, and, and for opportunities for students to do service learning. Um, definitely the assets based community development approach, uh, which is part of at least the spirit of what we're doing. Um, how am I doing on time? About two minutes? Four? Three. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, boy, this feels like a TED talk. <laughs> um, so I, I want to share you know, some of the feedback, um, and this is part of my program evaluation, some of the comments we got, and I want to say that we had uh, everything from people that have been community health workers, promotores for 17 years plus, to students that have never even heard of this, but when they heard of it, when they heard about the class, they said, hey, I either do that already, under a different term, or I'm very interested, and in from the country I come from, hey, that, that's what people were doing. I wanted to be one of those people. We had students from Guatemala, Guatemala, Somalia, Mexico, Mexico. Um, and uh, the, the very experienced uh, students said to us, you know, really this opened up my eyes as to value what I do, to the uh, self-respect and self-esteem for being a community health worker that I, you know, I used to think were just little volunteers. You know, some students said, you know, I was a volunteer, now I really take it seriously. I didn't realize how important it was. Uh, people were sent from the Muhammad Ali Parkinson's Center, from Arizona State University, um, from uh, the, the uh, Promotors Hope Network that's being uh, built in, in Phoenix. And uh, we had one student who, from Somalia who was being really, uh, I can say this publicly, uh, kind of groomed and they're trying to create a position for her at FQHC because she was such a hit and provided an opening with a Somali community, which we have, you know, we have a big Somali community in Phoenix. Um, the seasoned uh, community health workers really value things like, for example, learning about spoken practice, learning about confidentiality, learning communication skills. As a counselor, that's where I come in. I, I you know, a lot, of, a lot about uh, patient-centered care and treatment adherence. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm wrapping up. So, uh, the first course, we had about 24, 24 enrolled. Uh, we had some attrition, some uh, medical issues, uh, health issues. And a lack of interest. It was an open access. Anybody could sign up for it. We didn't say, hey, you, you can or can. We didn't think like the placement. We had some challenges with language. Some folks weren't as fluent in English. Uh, and then and that, I think that's a lesson learned is to have the flexibility of teaching in, in several languages or at least the openness to some <coughs> of the work in different languages. And the continuing classes would be uh, the behavioral health uh, core courses like communication skills, introduction to health relations. I'll be teaching those. And we're always looking for, you know, new attributes. I have a few people that, that I'm speaking to and are going to be speaking to about uh, coming to teach for us. Um, and, you know, a lot of the evaluation was based on the students' presentation, uh, the written work, the oral work, uh, talking about their service learning. 
uh, I did a pre-post, you know, uh, based on the competencies, so it's self-assessment of the competencies uh, and the student feedback. Um, I think my time is probably up. <laughs> right.